What's going on guys, well, what watch back again with another video for you guys Like this will be a discussion video Mainly about the Arsenal result yesterday, the performance from the Chelsea players A lot of fans on social media have, you know, criticised many players that they should be sold or should be dropped I want to hear your thoughts on that as well when I give my opinion We discussed it in a few transfer talks who, sh who should we be looking at right now, we've got about 9-10 days to go are we going to sign anyone? But yeah, you guys, you know how it goes. Make sure you smash the like button, subscribe, and hit the bell notification to stay with you more watch us. Like I said, all my videos, please comment your thoughts and opinions on each topic I speak about. Yes, I'm at work during my lunch break. I'm trying to look for a place during my lunch breaks, basically, to do more content for you guys to upload frequently and to upload a lot earlier than in the evening when I do it at home. So yeah, guys, the first topic I want to speak about is Kepa. Now, this goalkeeper has been below par this season, which I definitely admit but I feel like he's been put as a scapegoat especially for the two goals yesterday I don't think it's his fault yes the second goal he could have done a bit better maybe if he was on top top you know confidence form one of the best keepers etc he might have saved it but when you look at it properly his views blocked yeah we have to question the defense I'm going to be getting on to Emerson later on the video and the first goal Kante slipped it happens you know what can you do one on one it's a hit and miss so i don't really blame kepa for for you know the two goals against arsenal for sure but overall this season he has been below par guys you know the save percentage says it all i think he's at 125th 127th in the keepers over the certain leagues and it's just not good enough of course and you know i see it like the gale when he first joined united you know wasn't at top form um, needed some time to adapt you know everyone's coming at you but i can tell you this now guys he will bounce back he will be up there maybe he just needs a break maybe caballero needs to come in or come in but kepa definitely should not be sold it's too early to judge and i think the next five six months will be massive for this goalkeeper but i want you guys to back this keeper we have to back him for sure he will come back strong he's just going through a hard time and defense they're not helping him at all so yeah the Kante slip. Now, I'm seeing a lot of people saying Kante should be sold whilst we can sell him now for 100 million to Real Madrid, for example, or PSG. I understand. I understand the concept about him not being too threatening offensively in the final third. But when you look at him against Arsenal, intercepting, making those tackles, when we take that out, we will concede a lot more goals, especially if we're not creating enough and scoring enough, converting. Your problems are going to come more in defence now where we don't have that special player that can save us from conceding chances you know, opportunities to concede a lot more. So we have to be realistic. Why are we not questioning Frank Lampard's in-game management? Why are we not questioning? I'm not seeing anyone talk about it. What is his plan A? What's his plan B? I don't know personally. Does he know his best 11? I don't think so. And the lineup he put out yesterday I agreed with it massively. Obviously, I wanted Rich James to play, but I don't want him to risk a further injury long term. So, I understand Lampard's tactics there. Even the subs made sense in terms of Michi coming on, two strikers finally. We're trying something different. Unfortunately, Tammy was limping. It could be out for a long time, could be out for a short time. Hopefully, he comes back soon. But when you got players like Mount, Barkley, who, you know, I will support. You know, Mount's young, he's still got a lot to learn. Barkley coming back slowly. You know, we're not putting these chances away. We're not creating, you know, we're not creating enough. And this is why we need a player like Isco. Ericsson, 11 million to Inter. Bonus fee, etc. We are missing this link, guys, yeah? So before we look at Kante, he's not even playing the right position. Many people ask me, what is his position? I'd prefer him next to Giorgino to help him out in midfield. If Jorginho gets exposed, Kante will be there and track him back. Of course, when he attacks forward, he presses, he puts the pressure on to make the opposition try and make a mistake. And, yeah, you know what, I'm going to be real with you guys. He's not fantastic up top when he's combining, but he had a few chances with hudson Odoi where hudson Odoi could have scored a fantastic goal. And all of us would have been like, Kante's back again. It's something that Chelsea fans look to do on social media where they call out certain players, whether it's Kepa, Christensen, um, Kante, Tammy, Mount, whoever it is, one by one, we always have something new. And I really think Chelsea fans should rethink their opinion on Kante because just like Kepa, I think these two players are not players that should be sold. 
could be dropped for some games. Like Kante could be dropped for some games, of course. But I don't think he should be sold. No way. And you guys telling me we can sign a different player with that money? Yes, we can. But look at the Chelsea standards in the last couple of years. Do you really think we'll get a player at the top level of Kante? I guarantee nine out of ten times we won't. If we ever did, fair enough. Now, of course, like I said, in-game management, Frank Lampard. What's his plan A? What's his plan B? He got the t- I think he got the lineup right for sure. But all we're doing is passing backwards, sideways, centre back, left back, centre back, right back, back to centre back. Jorginho, Jorginho has to pass back defence. Something that we see consistently with Chelsea, we're not seeing enough movement. You know, I saw Asp left back in the previous game before Arsenal making those runs. Emerson made a few. I think he made about five, you know, actual chances where we could have put her away. Don't get me wrong. But he's positioning for the first goal. Why is he attacking him? Like the actual defence of Arsenal. Leaving Kante isolated by himself, which is why the slip happened as well. Like, and Emerson, where's the pace? Of course, I get it, you're tired. But someone on the ball running, a youngster. You should be able to catch him. He's not slow. Emerson is not slow. There's no way he can be that slow. So I don't, I don't know what's up with this player. Tammy Abraham limping. What does he do? He kicks it straight to the Arsenal defence. I was in the stadium thinking, what are you doing? I genuinely did not understand what was going on there. Honestly, every player was below par. Yeah, except maybe Christensen. Georgina was decent. Hudson Adoy for me in the first one was fantastic. Something that I want to touch upon as well. Christensen for me, for me in fact, not even from me, for me has stepped up. Since Lampard's made the comment about the physical side, Christensen has stepped up massively. Massively. Fantastic. On form right now, our best defender. May it continue. Now, I think Rudiger might need to get dropped for Zuma. Let me know what you think about all the things I spoke about in this video, of course. But yeah, I, I had to lay it out because no one really watched the vlog and I, I don't blame anyone because they're not in the mood to watch Chelsea drawing when we should have won that game. Against 10 men, it felt like we were 10 men or 9 men and Arsenal were attacking us. That's how it feels like. But when Chelsea are 10 men, teams fly at us with chances and we are dreading it. You know, hearts beating, etc. But yesterday I was at the stadium, I was thinking, there's no actual chances, there's no worry for Arsenal fans honestly there was nothing there so it didn't make sense and that's something that we need to sort out now who can we really sign guys who can we really sign we're saying Cavani Cavani's dad has come out and said he wants to, he wants his son to move to Atletico Isco 47 million should we pay that money Ericsson 11 million uh, with fees etc bonus fees or whatever you know, these are players that are out there. You know, Matisse was telling about Grealish and all that. Yeah, I get it. It's a bit too much over the top. But you see where it's coming from. We need creativity. We cannot defend this. And I understand it's a transition here. I really understand it's a transition here. I understand if, you know, we don't win trophies, if we don't do well, it's fine. Lampard needs a full season. Lampard needs two windows. I get it. But when teams around you are doing bad, you have to take advantage that England didn't take advantage for the World Cup. Yeah? That's how we have to see it. We're dropping silly points at home. Silly points. These are games... We still have winners. It doesn't matter if Hazard has left. Yes, Hazard has left. It's our best player. Taken a lot away from us. But Tanya has come in and scored goals. Wingers are scoring a few goals at the start of the season. There's no excuses not to beat Bournemouth, West Ham, Sheffield United. There's no excuses whatsoever. I don't understand it, yeah? We've got 20 shots, 18 shots, 19 shots per game whilst the other team gets about 2 to 3 and they win. And you're telling me this team's not good enough? This team has winners. This team has Aspi, Alonso, you know, William. These are Premier League winners. Yeah, they're not rubbish players, Do you, you know what I mean? They're average, but they're not rubbish. They've got enough experience to help Chelsea move forward. So I don't really understand this transition yet and not getting top four is fine. How are you meant to get your Sancho? How are you meant to get your Werner? How are you meant to get your top top players? Yes, maybe to Sancho, London is his, is his place that he wants to go to. But realistically, you'd want Champions League football. Top clubs want this player. Werner, Liverpool, 
you got Klopp wanting the player. We have to be realistic, guys. This is not reactionary. This is not reactionary, honestly. You have to think about it properly. February and March, our season can go from decent to the worst. We could be, you know, top seven. But yeah, guys, I just want to let that out. Hopefully you enjoy this content. Hopefully new types of videos coming out at lunchtime for me. I'll be uploading it before the evening so everyone can see that. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on all the topics I spoke about. Should we sell Kepa or should we drop him? Should we sell Kante or drop him? Emerson, what do we do with him? Um, Mitchie wasn't good enough. We need a second striker. And yeah, Lampard, what is his game plan? Plan A, plan B. Let me know in the comments below. But yeah, guys, what watch us. Smash the like button. Check out the previous video as well if you can. I'm out, man.